We know that things are changing in your life. Moira, tell us what's going mm. on. Well, yeah, the change has uh, really been tied to Full Circle going daily, which we were so excited about. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't think, despite some of the fun pictures we've shown and video, <laughs> that our friends uh, have really any idea how much time mm -hmm. you all, we all, have spent prior to this very quick half hour. <laughs> it's, it's very time consuming and, um, and daily. And as many viewers know, I also host on 100 Huntley Street, uh, which is a growing concern as well. Tomorrow I will do 21 interviews. I have already done two today uh, prior to visiting this couch. And, um, you know, we do espouse some priorities. <laughs> I, I, often, I have to say this almost with my hand covered. God first, then family, and then ministry or work. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been a very good example of that for a while. And... Um, do you, do you remember the, was it our guest or was it on Huntley? We had the Chinese characters for busyness. It was, must have been Huntley. Was oh, here? no, I thought that we had that here as well. You, you know that crisis is danger plus opportunity. Mm. That's how they say crisis. Busyness is heart plus killing. <laughs> you, you, you put those characters together and you get busyness. Which busyness can be? A very full life isn't necessarily life to the full. Mm -hmm the abundant life that Jesus promised. And we're all about being authentic here. Mm -hmm. So we wanna be the real deal. We wanna be living fully in our lives. And uh, it's just been a little off balance. Toughest thing to achieve in the Christian life is balance. So you girls have graciously uh, allowed me to make room for a visitor here on a regular basis. I'm not here every program. Uh, but with some of the changes uh, in Huntley Street, I'm going to be out more. Uh, it's it's going to be necessary for me to uh, to step back uh, even further. And uh, we're on the same floor. We kind of all hang out together. <laughs> well, Anna is actually up on the third floor. Let's but be I truthful. But I come and visit. And but hang she out visits because there's so many good things on the second floor. Uh, so we're we're still sofa sisters, and I hope I can uh, mm -hmm. still drop down. But mm -hmm. it'll be much more occasional. I, I've been here before, you girls know this, mm -hmm. where God has called me out because I don't have enough time for Him. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we want to share the life that is real, we've got to be living it in and for Him. And you know, Moira, we didn't want to let you go, of course, because mm -hmm. we love you. We have this great history of mm -hmm. what we built together here on the couch. You're going to miss my show and tell. Totally. We will. We will. Oh, we'll yes, I, we will. I, I brought some. Oh, you okay. Of course. Of course. Yes. What would it be with now, that? This is just an example of God speaking to a visual person. <laughs> now, when a child summer craft convicts oh, you, man. you know you're in trouble, okay? <clears throat> this is the hat that caught my attention first. The busy bee, okay? <laughs> I am not going to put it on. Should Cheryl put it on? No. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any volunteers I here. I do a lot for you, Moira, but I don't <laughs> know. Yes, I don't know. This is the invisible hat I have been wearing. Uh, my son has learned to cook very well this year because Mama has not been doing it. My husband has accused me of defiling the marriage bed with my computer. <laughs> this is going. This is going because I need to become a frog, one who fully relies on God. Because you know what? His mm -hmm. will is good, pleasing, and perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that beautiful scripture, Anne, from the message? Mm -hmm. The unforced rhythms, rhythms of, of grace. grace. That's where mm -hmm. the Lord wants yeah. us to live. And then the fruit of the Spirit will be flowing through us. And I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the litmus test is the fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. When the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control mm -hmm. is waning, something needs to change, mm -hmm. and it isn't God. <laughs> It would be me. Mm -hmm. So there's my there's my new hat. <laughs> you know, Moira, that's such Cheryl a, wants that yeah, one. I know. There you Moira go. The frog. You know, Moira, that's such a great example because I know there's a lot of women and even myself where I I believe that busyness is next to godliness. You do. There are moments where I think if I the more busy I am and the more that I look like I'm doing things for God, then that's that's a great thing. People will will like me. They'll think that you know I'm this great Christian. And for what you're saying and what you're doing mm -hmm. is such a great example to me because you know I think he cares so much more about who you mm -hmm. are That's right. than all you're doing for him. 
But how do you, I mean, you're stepping back, but how is, you know, women where there are jobs and responsibilities, how do you then get into that place of peace and step back? Mm. What are those practical things? Well, you know what? The first time, not the first time, mm. the second time, um, God had to pull me out of television. Um, he gave me Zechariah 8.13. So I will save you, and I needed saving, and you will be a blessing. I was doing Christian TV, a Christian of, I don't know, 20 years, and God was saying, Moira, I will save you, and you will be a blessing. Do not be afraid, but let your hands be strong. God was sending me home to toddlers. That was not exactly my heartbeat. And it actually took five months for me to be able to say, I enjoy being home with my children. <laughs> I had to roll up my sleeves and embrace God's call, which was a very meaningful one. It was an equipping one. I learned what it means to be a neighbor. How can you be a neighbor if you're never home? Mm -hmm. uh, our home had become a landing strip, uh, where we are again, actually. Uh, <laughs> but it was much more important with those little children that I listened to God's call. And so I went home for 12 years. And um, I would say by about year six, you'll see today, because the girls are coming to my house for a barbecue today. <laughs> um, you'll see on my kitchen counter that good to quote. When I saw it, my eyes filled up because it was the reward of obedience. He said, happy is she, be she queen or peasant, who finds peace in her own home. And God needed to teach me how to be a homemaker. It's a literal term. You have to make a home. And I wasn't there. And although I'm heading into empty nest in September, um, oh, chance to get that house in order, um, there, there still needs to be a life that you can live in fully. And then you're ready for people. Mm -hmm. Then you're ready for anything. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember when you told us of your decision and we all had a good cry together. Mm -hmm. yeah, we did, <laughs> because we did. even though you're going to be on the show yes. and you're nearby, you know, we just, we love this, what we have. Mm -hmm. and, and change is always tough, you know. Mm -hmm. And I know that you wrestled really hard with this decision. It's not like, you know, it's just like, oh, I'm just going to walk away from this beautiful ministry that I've done. But you really had to wrestle through. My family's not getting the best of me. My friends aren't getting the best of me. God's not getting the best of me. I'm supposed to be on television every day. I'm supposed to have treasures to bring forth to people, but I'm not even spending the time to get them. Exactly, Cheryl, exactly. The God's call to me when I headed out to Briarcrest Bible College was feed my sheep. You know, how are you gonna feed if you're not getting enough sustenance yourself, you know? I think balance is something that all women struggle with, no matter what their profession or their, their stage in life. I think it was Oswald Chambers that said quite often the good is the enemy of the best. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so much good that we can be doing, but really we have to seek what's God's best for our individual lives. And we so appreciate, Moira, that we know this is not a, a, a quick decision that you've come to, that you've really prayed into this, seeking what is God's best for your life. And I need to say as an aside, we are all thrilled to know that you will be dropping in mm -hmm. to our couch from time to time. We're you not might saying... have some topics that only an older <laughs> woman can really speak into. Well, mature, why? This is so not a period where Moira <laughs> right. is concerned. This is a comma. Yeah. Moira will be back. It's yeah. just that we are releasing you because of all the extended duties that you will now find yourself involved in with 100 Huntley Street in the future. I know, it's scary. We're going out there with a camera and things and who knows what they'll make me do. You know, when I did this earlier, Moira, I think it's something that, and maybe you can impart some wisdom to us, but how, because as you've been on the couch, scripture has just come so naturally. Yeah. You have injected it so like comfortably into conversations where it wasn't like we pause, then you share it and it's and it's weird. It's been something that's so natural. And yeah. how how do you, obtain that, how do you get that? For someone who's, you know, I look to you and I think, it's not foreign, it's, it's real. The Word of God is, it lives and breathes within you. Hmm. I don't know all the ways to answer that. I, I, I have this theory. I, I haven't had anybody affirm this yet or scientific experiment. I believe as a new believer, you, when you are born again, you're brand new in Christ, you're like wet cement. We know that of our own children mm -hmm. when they're new. You, you, know, you wanna learn a foreign language, get them early because they just are able to uh, retain, uh, absorb new things. Um, I believe as a new believer, the scriptures that I read were so life-giving, so exciting, that a lot of them just 
went in. I may not be able to tell you chapter and verse, but they're a part of me. And as you go through the journey, and sometimes it has to be in the crushing, mm -hmm. in the hard place, and you, then you really, God has your attention, yeah. and you're really looking for what are you going to say to me, Lord, here. That, that scripture is precious forever. And you might even have in the margin of your Bible a, a, a month and a year, mm -hmm. or, or a, a situation, or a, an event, because that scripture became real to you and will always be precious for that reason. And, you know, I've lived a few more years than you, Melinda, <laughs> and a lot of those have met me in the journey. And let me say, we love to share, we love to share our experiences and, um, and speak into issues, but there's only one word that is eternal, mm -hmm. and that is the word of God. And so I feel it's always important to bring what he has to say. Mm -hmm. That's good. And I find that whenever I dig into his word, I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I took the time because there's always meat there. There's always something that you can just pour into your spirit and it, it fills you up. You walk away from it fuller than when you sat down with it. There's just so much to be said for spending time in God's Word. Well, as Chuck Missler says, it's an extraterrestrial book. It, it, it's supernatural. It is yeah. living and active. And I know we have people watching today who haven't discovered that yet. And our, our fresh surprise is reading something we've read over and over again, and one day you read it and boom, yeah. mm -hmm. it's just the word you need, the lamp unto your feet and the light unto your path mm -hmm. today. Well, you know, I think um, balance for us as women and, and men too, you know, in life is mm -hmm. not a one-time decision. This one decision, now your life is perfectly balanced. It's something we're trying to do yeah. every day, balancing every day. people's expectations and needs and your own expectations, mm -hmm. you know. I think if maybe people are watching and they're relating to what we're talking about, you know, I just wanted to mention the prayer lines mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. just, you know, that there are people that can talk you through some of these things and pray you through. If you're saying, wow, I need to make the kind of hard decisions Moira's made. I don't know where she mm -hmm. got the courage, but I need to figure out what to say no to, what to say yes to, you know, how to have time for my family. I think it's a beautiful thing. You know, Cheryl, God is, he's not a hard taskmaster. To. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how long he knew he was going to have to wait for me to leave Crossroads after six in years in, in 94. But we were at Walt Disney World. And my, one of my favorite rides with little kids, Dumbo the Elephant. I grew up with Dumbo. <laughs> there is, it's boarded up, you know, tall boards, big sign. And, you know, you could see it from here to the back doors. Dumbo is temporarily closed for restoration. He will fly even higher when he reopens soon. Ah. Who do you think was getting a message in that? Yeah. I was Dumbo. <laughs> mm -hmm. I needed to shut her down. Mm -hmm. I needed to get back to my first love mm -hmm. and be restored. God, I had, and you know what? That decision, I had to quit everything. I had to get off every board. I, would, I couldn't speak anywhere. It was no, 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 no. And mm -hmm. I knew it was an obedience. But I think the question too, though, is that doesn't mean that you're not worth anything. Because identity, for I think for women, gets wrapped up in what oh, we do and no. who we are and, and no, if we're on TV. No. That's what I'm saying. That's it's the good part is that yeah. it's not. He's crazy about me and he's missing right. me. Right, yeah. exactly. It's like, hello, yeah. excuse me, do you have a minute? Uh, mm -hmm. It's God <laughs> here. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. I say that to people sometimes. Yeah. I go, they go, I'm going to go have some time with the Lord. I go, tell him hi for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing that we all struggle with is finding that balance and starting our day, getting back into the habit of starting our day with the Lord. Yeah. You know, I mean, so we're so busy, Melinda, mm -hmm. all of us, that it's so easy to set the alarm for half an hour later so I can get that little extra sleep because I know I've got a busy day. And But instead, we need to know, set it a little earlier because the most important person we need to connect with is God and that's what you're you're teaching us to do and that's what we're all learning yes. to do